So what are the best programming languages to learn if you wish to build augmented reality apps? It's a common question that I've received in my videos, so I thought I'll make a video on that. These are not ranked in order, but let's start with number one, C Sharp. So C Sharp, along with Unity, a game engine that is built on C Sharp, lets you build augmented reality apps. There are SDKs available, for example, Euphoria that gets you a lot of the AR functionality out of the box. Unity is very well suited for building mobile apps, mobile games. In fact, some of the popular games like Temple Run, they are built on Unity. And in terms of augmented reality, about 90% of the apps in HoloLens, which is one of the widely popular AR headsets out there today, truly AR headset, 90% of the apps for this device is built in Unity. So Unity is a great place to start to build AR experiences for, mul for multiple devices, including HoloLens. The programming language used by Unity is C Sharp. That's why I say C Sharp is a great programming language to learn if you want to build for multiple platforms. But also remember that Unity is a game engine and it's not really good for building, say, utility apps where you would need more access to native components. So I would say Unity combined with C Sharp is more suited for AR games, experiences, and simulations, and things like that, that are very 3D intensive. The second programming language would be C++. So C++ is some more low-level programming languages, language, and it's used by a popular game engine called Unreal. So Unreal and Unity are the two most popular game engines, and out of the two, Unreal is more used in uh, high-end AAA game studios where they need more advanced capabilities and more low-level access and that makes sense and that's probably why Unreal uses C++ which in itself is a very low-level coding language. So learning C++ combined with Unreal Game Engine would al allow you to build AR experiences that are really high-end and advanced in capabilities. This probably would be more useful to AAA game studios and really high-budget games for more like indie games and experiences, small-scale it would be more useful to go with Unity. Not to say that Unity can't do large-scale project, it has and it will. Comparing both, I've heard that Unreal is more suited for large-scale projects. So with these two languages, C++ and C Sharp, you'll be able to target game engines like Unity and Unreal, respectively. And again, these are more suited for building AR experiences, games, simulations, and not really native apps. If you want access to more native components that are specific to each platform, say an iOS device or an Android device, then it's better to do native development, not really use this cross-platform engines. And for the native side of things, this brings us to the third programming language, which is Kotlin. Kotlin is the main programming language used to build Android apps these days. It has kind of replaced Java, which is also commonly used, but Kotlin is the go-to language now. And learning Kotlin combined with SDKs like AR Core, which is provided by Google to build AR apps for the Android ecosystem. Combining Kotlin or Java with uh, AR Core will let you build native AR apps for the Android ecosystem. That's Kotlin and Java. Now number four, this is the bit I'm most excited about and that I invest most of my time in, is Swift. So Swift is the main programming language used by Apple to build iOS apps and Swift combined with uh, AR Kit, Reality Kit, Reality Composer, all of which are frameworks provided by Apple to build AR apps. And when you combine Swift with these frameworks, you can build native, powerful AR apps for the Apple ecosystem. And not only that, by learning Swift, you're also kind of preparing for the future because Apple's AR Glasses is rumored to be released at some point this decade, probably in the next three to two to three years. And when that happens, there'll be a huge influx and demand for people who could build content for Apple Glasses. And for that, Swift is a great language to learn because with Swift combined with the AR frameworks provided by Apple, you will be able to build content natively for the coming glasses. And that's what this channel is all about. AR tutorials for the Apple ecosystem, focusing on Swift. And if you're interested in that, do subscribe and I'll see you next week.